Hey, what's up guys? Jerry here. So today I'm going to finally open up these bird nests I've been saving for, oh god, I don't even know how long, maybe like the past, uh, I want to say three months of just like casual play doing birdhouse runs whenever I have a chance if I'm not doing homework or if I'm, I have a little bit of time where I don't necessarily have to AFK or do anything like that. So instead I could just run around the world of RuneScape and actually skill. Um, so we're going to open all these up and just, well, probably can't withdraw that many nests. Uh, what's a good number to withdraw? Let's do like 14 each time. But yeah, so I've been saving these up for a little bit. And since I passed 80, um, 81 herb lore, I can finally make Saradoman brews. So there's a good chance for me to uh, finally just get some seeds. And also I need the bird nest to... Um, I also need the bird nest just to uh, make the actual brews because they're the secondary ingredient. Um, so because of that, you know, a lot of these nests, well, I wouldn't say a lot. I would say some of the nests that you get from birdhouse runs actually have seeds in them. And you can actually make a fair bit of money in that process while you're gathering these secondary materials. Now, of course, for a lot of the rich players that do like raids and stuff like that, you don't necessarily need to do this. Or even just like the ones that like PVM daily, uh, because you make so much money that skilling doesn't even like, it literally does not matter. But for a casual player like me, this is pretty much one of the few ways that I generate income on top of like training my skills. Now, I don't think I'm actually going to be selling most of these seeds because I'm probably going to be needing, needing them for farming anyways. Um, but on the off chance that depending on how the, depending on what type of seeds I get, I may sell off some of them uh, because I'm sitting at 87 right now. So I may not need all these. Uh, that's considering, you know, me doing the regular runs I've been doing right now on top of already, um, doing farming contracts and stuff like that. So there's already like a lot of different ways to actually generate, uh, all that stuff. So I'm going to open up these sea, uh, bird nests and afterwards I will meet you guys here and show the, uh, the final results on top of, you know, including the crush nests as well, just to kind of see how much you get. Okay. So I will see you guys here shortly. All right, guys, we're back after opening all the bird nests and here's the final results. Um, that honestly took forever. Like, that actually took a lot longer than I thought it would. I mean, just based on my HP, I ended up just reaching a bunch of it. But anyway, so this is the final loot. Um, I didn't include regular gold rings because I already had a few from random events and I couldn't remember how many I had in my bank. Uh, they're not really worth much anyway, so I don't think it's actually going to affect the final outcome all that much anyways. Might be like a few, um, a few, uh, 10k at most. Um, so that's all the bird nest. That's 8 mil. It's actually not too bad. Then sapphire ring, emerald rings. These don't really add up to much, do they? So I guess in total, this, the rings account for, eh, about... Let's say this is like 170, 179, about 200, 230k-ish. It's not really anything major. So I guess uh, you do want to hopefully get a seed nest almost every single time. Even if you low roll the seed, um, the likelihood of you actually getting more gold is actually a lot higher regardless. So this should be all of the bird nests, which comes out to be about 14 mil. Okay, that's not too bad. Of course, you know, spirit seeds aren't tradable, so you can't add them in there. Um, so that's actually a that's actually a pretty healthy amount of uh, of seeds right there. So we can just actually teleport and put this well, put the seeds into um, my seed vault because I really don't want it to take up inventory space. Um, but yeah, I think with the amount of seeds I already have in my seed vault from just doing hard contracts and I guess medium contracts that I've just been like saving them and stuff like that, uh, it, this is actually going to add up to quite a bit of gold. I mean, I think in total this should be, yeah, I already have 18 mil in here. So if I add all these seeds in there, this should actually go a little bit over 30 mil, which actually is, you know, not too bad for someone that's just casually playing. Uh, let's put all of that in there. All right, so about 24 mil, not counting the bird nest. And so I'm not going to sell this at all. I'm going to use this to farm um, just to be able to push me to 99 if I really wanted to get it a lot faster. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's actually a pretty good...
good amount of seeds I can use for uh, further farm runs, tree runs, stuff like that, whatever I need to do. And since I have 2k bird nest, this should also account for a lot of herblore uh, experience as well. So that's pretty exciting. But that's pretty much it. I mean, like, yeah, bird, bird uh, birdhouse runs are nerfed, but they're so fast and they're such a great way of passively training hunting. Like, I, I think I got my hunting from, like, 30 or 40 to this just doing birdhouse runs. So they're very quick. It takes about three minutes. So if you do other skills and just skilling, um, just include them in there. It costs basically nothing. And you do get decent amount of just passive gold on top of experience. Uh, of course, you know, this is never going to compare to, like, PVM. Like, if you, you know, like, you do, like, three hours of Warcath, you're going to make more enough money than you're ever going to be able to do doing this. But I figure, you know, if you're already doing, like, herb runs or farming runs, tree runs and stuff like that, or, like, doing other skills, you might as well just put up the bird nest. I mean, it takes them, it takes three minutes to do them. They get dismantled every 55 minutes, you know. I think it's worth it. So that's it. That's basically it. It is what it is. Um gonna wrap up the video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye